Much police have released a video of a shooting that killed a teenager in the Bronx. The video shows a gray SUV come to a stop on 156th Street in the Melrose section yesterday afternoon. This was in the afternoon. Two men got out. One of them fired a gun. 19-year-old Melvin Urena, who was riding on a scooter, was shot in the head and leg. He died at the hospital. I hear, like, a lot of loud noise, and I'm like, that don't sound like fireworks. My grandma's home attendant, they were actually here eating ice cream, and then they left, and that happened. So that kind of scared me, because I was like, that could have been my grandma. Good point. Police have not made any arrests. The NYPD made an arrest in a deadly shooting inside of a home in Brooklyn. The shooting killed 19-year-old Brianna Zaret and injured another man. This happened June 16th in bed -Stuy. Police say they have charged Jose Romero now with murder, an attempted murder. Still no word on the motive or what led up to it. Now to a story that's first on 7. Police searching for the man accused randomly attacking a woman on a 7 train in Queens. She was punched in the face so hard her jaw is now broken and wired shut. The woman's husband was there during that frightening attack. He spoke with Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yan. 39-year-old Rosa Chocho cannot eat solid foods, speak, or open her mouth. Her jaws are wired together and her lips stitched after a horrible, unprovoked attack on the subway. When the train was coming close to a stop, that's when he punched her in the jaw. He broke all of this. This whole part he broke. Here's Rosa and Louise in happier times, innocently enjoying the city. Two weeks ago, they were taking the 7 train in Long Island City, heading back to Manhattan, when they were suddenly struck by random, savage violence. Authorities believe this man spat on the victims and yelled at them before punching the helpless mother in the face, smashing her jaws. He was sitting directly across from us. I'm not sure why he started talking to me. First he spit at me, then he spoke to my spouse, and he spit in her face. We're told the victim is now with her sister, eating through a straw, trying to recover. Her physical injuries will heal, but what about the trauma? No, ella tiene mucho miedo. Ella ya no, quiere subirse al tren. no, she's very scared. She doesn't want to ride the train. She's too scared, just like me. I'm also nervous. Rosa arrived from Ecuador about two months ago, hoping to build a future with Louise here. She has not been able to work as a cleaner since the assault. She's very nervous and she can't sleep. The wires should come off in another month and Rosa can speak again. The victims are not sure what the attacker yelled at them in English, but they do know they want him stopped before he strikes again. In East Harlem, Lucy Yang, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.